It'd be interesting to see how the cooldown affects it too in the PTR. That's that's right. right. That's right. With the PTR changes coming up, pretty I haven't soon. played it myself. I've heard it's, it's I pretty not. good though. I, I'm mainly only worried about brig updates. <laughs> so everything else doesn't matter. A home brig. And I'm happy as a Moira main. Moira's in the meta right now. I'm the way things are. They can stay. And we're going to Junkertown. First time we've seen Junkertown so and far. Murray too. State is on defense. Welcome Murray State, their first ever in their inaugural Overwatch season, going into map three. Let's get some hype in the chat. Whoa, let's go racers! <laughs> Gotta get the basketball. I to get them in here to go. Murray State! Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for the volume on chat there, man. I always like to do it as a professional, you know, uh, I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Ladies. The WWF is proud to bring to you its Tag Team Champions of the World. <laughs> I'm going to bring out the Jock Jam. I, uh, Let's get ready to rumble. We should definitely start bringing out Jock Jams. Let's get ready to rumble. has got to make a comeback. It's been too long. That would be awesome. And whoop, there it is. Yeah. Boop, there that, it is. That should be the race of, yeah, boop, there it is. Boop, there it is. That's the racer anthem. Let's go. There we go. It's a done deal. And in addition to that, as we've discussed in the invitational uh, interviews, Bob Phil said that their motto when they wanted to move forward was to yell W, Discord. So we're changing the hashtag from shoes up to hashtag, I guess, W. Hashtag I guess really W. W. We can just go with that. So forget shoes up. We're now W. We're W's up. We're W's up. The Fortnite community would hate us. <laughs> but that's okay, because we don't play Fortnite. Yeah. Although, if you do play Fortnite and want to play on the Murray State <laughs> Esports team, please drop us a line. Yeah. Hey, well, we're looking for more more players, more teams. We are a growing organization. We've got Hearthstone, uh, Magic the Gathering players. We've got a new Rocket League team. We've got a League of Legends. Stay tuned. This club is growing. And Villanova going again with the Pharmacy, it looks like. Murray State sticking with the May on Anher. This is the first time we've seen him in Junker. Or, excuse me, well, yeah, May on Junker now, not Junker. Low on health. This is a great map for Pharah. Lots of open room to fly around, but they can take it down. And her, once again, those ice picks. Not only does he have the walls, but he has the picks. Not only with the kills, but the ice picks as well. Bonsai now gets the kill squid. And this is early aggression from Murray State staying on that point. They've, they've let Villanova move forward here, and now they're just going to hold on to this point underneath that bridge. And oh. what a flank from Bonsai to take out the Mercy. I'm back up slightly. Is that, a, is that an actual junk rat oh. on the enemy team? A junk rat on junk rat. Here we go. Touch from afar. I, I do that. love junk rat as an EPS. It's just really yeah. nice to lob countless pains and people. Well, coming from a TF2 background, I'm a fan of him as somebody who played a little bit of demo man. Sure. You know, that throwback experience, but I feel like he's more effective on Overwatch than, than the demo man was on TF2. All right, Immortality Field. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Box time falling. We are going to quickly, uh, Tiger Mask is going to take a break. We've got something coming in work-related, so I'm going to be the only caster for a minute, so stay with us as I adjust the cameras here. And I cannot believe what I just saw. I heard the Junker at ult. I saw the Immortality Field. And I guess he took that out and then took out the other ones right on top of it. Crazy sequence of events. We're gonna switch to Aziz. Aziz trying to halt them behind that barrier. The damage here. Down from Murray State. Oh, and Farah all gets one, gets two. Take down Halo before they can get any more. Murray State is trying to hold them before they can get to this first point. And her going down as well. Bonsai now follows, and Villanova looks like they were prepared for this map. That would be but Murray State now, you're looking at. Look, their May and her has the ult, has the blizzard, and Aziz has the, uh, let's call them the bongos. I don't actually know the official name of the, <laughs> the Arisa ult. But uh, Bonsai at 86% uh, on Death Blossom and Chief almost to his big flux. Well, it feels like Villanova, without having the actual ability to check, looks like they've used a couple. There's her big flux as well. So Murray State might be in a prime position to push Villanova back here. They'll spawn a little further back if they can do so. State trying to stabilize around this corner. Let's watch Clay fill for a minute as he puts in the healing. He's got an excellent position here, but he gets halted out. He's going to have to stabilize. He's going to use the immortality field. He doesn't. 
good. He wants to stay, he wants to save it for the big moments. And there, he uses it there just as his team was about to fall away there. And now he's got the damage matrix, but Murray State is falling. You get Bonsai. There's the Junkrat ult. I guess Chief. Uh, unfortunate timing for the Immortality Code. It really could have helped out there, but he needed to stabilize his team. And her falling. Whoa. Now on the Moira this time. Murray State's going to have to back up and seed this next point to Villanova. Murray State is worked over on Junk Junkertown right now. Not good for Murray State. Estes, thank you for joining us in the chat. You'll probably hear the answer to this in the chat before uh, you hear it because of the delay because of Tesper rules. But we are on map three. Villanova one, Murray State one. Highly contested game so far. Definitely the best game we've seen. And now Villanova being aggressive in the air. Flatfield just trying to stabilize. He does keep his team alive. Aziz is weak. Reaper as well gets trapped. He's got his ult. Can he get behind enemy lines and use it? He doesn't need to right now. Halo getting the double. They need to watch out for that pair behind. Sigma Chief leading the line, being the captain, trying to just get his team to hold the line. Now this is on Junkertown, just from my experience. This is a good point to hold, but there's a group of clock coming in. Can they stagger Murray State here? Ah, oh, Chief goes down. Clock goes that. that immortality kill just took a long time, and now Murray State backs against the wall in their first ever match against Villanova. Villanova came to play. They don't want to lose this one. Halo coming in on the top. This is a perfect map for Pharmacy. Vera Mercy combo, and now Murray State getting pushed back into the spawn. This is not good if you're a Racers fan. Villanova pushing forward, just keeping them in spawn, spawn trapping them. Murray State doesn't know what to do. They're only meters away. They're, they're so close. Murray State needs to get out of the spawn and quick, and they do. Chief pushing forward. He doesn't want to lose this here. He doesn't want to lose in this fashion. He gets the rocks coming in. Ash getting the kill. Oh, no, she doesn't. Halo taking somebody out as well. And it is chaos on the point. Oh, healing orb to try and keep his team alive. Murray State, can they stabilize here? They've only got caught on the point. He's going to fall if he's not careful. He does, and Villanova takes it in the first round. Woo! Take a breath here. First ever, uh, this is Murray State Esports, first ever Overwatch season. Uh, oh, and so far, this is their first ever map three. Uh, every so every time so far, Murray State's been a one-one team. Uh, they'll they'll win one one round against one or one map, one game against one team. Then they'll go on and play against a different team that night and lose. Uh, so far, we beat uh, the team we played earlier, Florida State, and now we're playing against Villanova. Murray State looking for that first ever 2-0 on the night. Unfortunately, right now their backs are against the wall. 3-0, a quick 3-0 too. It's Villanova. Welcome back. I'm back. Sorry about that. That's okay. You missed a heck of an ending round here. Of course I did. Uh, but Villanova making my cable over here. But Villanova kind of made quick work there. Once they got to that first checkpoint at the gate, mm -hmm. it was just over. There. After you get to that first curve and get around it, it's a lot easier to get that payload into the first doorway. But right there, before you can start getting that payload around that curve, it's quite the fight as the offensive team. I expected Murray State to put up a bigger hold uh, on the little turbine area, but they just got staggered and staggered and staggered, and Murray State is going to have to come out of the gate, and they're going to have to come out swinging. We got a Rodar coming in and a Bastion coming in. Not the usual picks from Murray State. I'm curious to see what we do. Oh, no, they switched all of a sudden. There's that Overwatch League. Bait and switch. Murray State going to try and be aggressive here. They're running the pirate ship. Pirate the ship. Here we go. Throwback comp here. Double shields protecting that Bastion with the new Lego skin. Love that skin. Murray State. He's alive so far. Immortality feels good. Look at Bonsai with a double. He stay alive. And the healers keep him alive. And they're pushing forward. And her has switched over to the Widowmaker. We may go first person on him in a little bit if he stays because he gets some wow plays coming in right now. Ooh. There's some damage going Ooh. in. Let's go Murray State. Pushing around the corner. Can they get to the gate? Staked. Quick work of this first point. A little bit quicker than Villanova, so maybe these are good signs. But Villanova may also just be giving up that first point. Huh. I did not know there was a respawn going over there. So that uh, they can hop off the Widow. They, uh, did they change off the board just 
They actually, they stuck on it yet. This part of the map maybe not so good for Widow. Uh, not, not as many sight lines. Kind of hard to get that high ground here. They may switch back to that at the turbine area. It remains to be seen. Vitality Field keeping that Bastion alive. Murray State. Pushing forward, running forward here. I think we definitely have our theme for uh, the, the parade next year. <laughs> Pirate ship. Yeah, we, yeah let's, uh, for the next Murray State, you know, we'll get a parade, we'll get an esports team, we'll make a payload, and we'll put uh, a little Bastion on a little Bastion. We'll call it Pirate Ship Payload, and everyone will be confused when we're not dressed as pirates. <laughs> Villanova may just go ahead and give this up. They're probably going to do some damage here just to build some ult, but no, actually, they're going to commit. Decided to commit. Immortality Field from Flatfield that's going to protect from the Junkrat ult. It does. Box Time does kill the Immortality Field, but nobody else. Bonsai getting the kill. And her as well. Bonsai with the double. And her with the double as well. That's going to be, if it's not a team kill, one away, it looks like. One or two away. Two away. I'm really amazed at how well they were able to keep the Bastion alive at that point. He was really low. So far this game, it has been a battle between the Junkrat and Flavfil's Immortality Field. The timing has made the difference in a couple of key, crucial areas. Will that change? And uh, Murray State trample forward here. They're making very good time. It's all about nerves of that Immortality Field. You've got to wait until the exact right second. You've got to put it in the right spot. And look at these ice walls coming in from Villanova. They're very good, except that the one bad thing is that, I guess from Villanova's perspective, is now it's much easier to destroy those pillars. So Bastion can just tear through them. And now we've got a Blizzard Bonsai with a double again. Villanova was not prepared for this pirate ship. Murray State pushing forward. Are they going to trap them and spawn just like Villanova did? Murray State, and it looks like Murray State is going to stay on the point. And there's the Ana as well. Oh, a big support stagger at that point. Yeah, That's going to hurt Villanova. That ice wall going to prevent anybody from helping their Bastion. They've tried to switch to Mirror it, and their Bastion is going to fall. And her stays alive. Murray State is going to push forward here, and I think they're going to take it. They need to stay alive. Bonsai falls as soon as he gets the ult, but Chief is going to try and clean up. And her as he is getting the kills. Flatfield as well. Squid just staying alive, but there goes Murray State, three to three. And Murray came State on. with way more time on the clock too. So now we'll go to the uh, basically sudden death. Whoever gets it the furthest and the most in the amount of time left wins, I believe, right? Yeah, it's basically just a, a game of who can get there quicker at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, Travis Taylor, when is the official regular season start? It's kind of hard to explain with Tespa. So, uh, yeah, uh, so we are currently in the loser's bracket or second chance bracket for the Varsity Overwatch tournament, which is separate from this collegiate tournament. This is preseason for a tournament that will take place in spring. So our Overwatch squad is actually competing in two test for Overwatch for tournaments at the same time, stupidity, which makes stupidity, stupidity, a lot of sense. Stupidity, stupidity, stupidity. Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to follow, but I do think, correct me if I'm wrong, so Varsity League and the league that this feeds into, or that this is part of, do they eventually both feed into a they final championship? Do not. Okay, the Varsity one is specifically for Varsity programs. It is for, you know, if you're getting funding from your school, if you've got a, a space on your school, if you're following certain guidelines, you can be part of the Varsity program. The regular TESPA tournament that they're playing in the preseason right now is unlimited signups. As many teams as your school can, can field, you're welcome to put them Five. in. Gotcha. Uh, and also offer scholarship Three. money, whereas the varsity one does not One. offer any uh, scholarship okay. money. Okay. And of course, Travis, every every eSport is different. It's kind of, we were talking about this earlier off the air. eSports right now at the collegiate scene is the Wild West. Things are different between each game, especially in the collegiate scene. Bonsai gets that pick on Halo, who's trying to run the Bastion as well. He gets the triple. They're not letting Villanova run the pirate ship. They're going to prevent them from even getting to the point. Haven't seen this kind of pirate ship mirror comp since the early stages of Overwatch League Season 1. I feel like that was the heyday, especially in Junkertown. But now with the double shield meta being in place, it really makes sense to run pirate ship. A lot more viable now. Here they go. It's going to be Bastion versus Bastion here. Who's going to get the first pick? That ice like, wall helping just line up the shots. Now, the previous battle between the Junkrat and Cloud uh, Filth's Immortality Field now looks to be a battle, four way battle, between both Bastions and both Maze. Yep. But they do have box time still on the Junkrat. Murray State was able to hold this first point for a little while. You see the time ticking away. This is great for Murray State. I may be wrong, but I think if Villanova isn't able to make it the distance that they need to make it in their time, I think that's going to end it. I don't even think Murray State has to play attack. That's 
I they might have to make it as far as they They might have to make it a little bit further than that. That's all I have to do is get a little bit further than that. Sebastian backing up here is trying to self-heal. Perfect immortality field to keep the team alive. Able to heal himself a little bit. Chief throwing in the rocks. That's going to be a Junkai Ult coming in. They don't have the immortality field. Who's going to fall? Oh no, Bonsai and Flopfield. Two critical players both falling. And her needs to step up big with the ice walls. And Aziz, he's going to do his best to put his shield down and halt the fair out of the skies. But she gets her jetpack and gets away. She's about halfway on health almost. And now she's low. The Mercy keeping her alive. Villanova pushing forward here. This is just what we saw last time. Mercy State staggered now and they need to stabilize. There's a blizzard uh, coming in. How many are they going to get? Oh my goodness. It's, Triple first it's stage. just kills after kills after kills here. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Really, no one survived I that. I can't believe what I'm seeing here. <laughs> Murray State, just when you thought. Hey, Malandrine, no thanks for the subscription from Twitch Prime. Let's go. Woo woo. Shout out to Malandrine. Mal yeah, Malandrine. Malandrine, yeah. W key. Under 30 seconds remaining. Can Murray State hold on? Historic map three for the inaugural season. Sure, it's only preseason. Don't tell that to us. Every game counts. <laughs> Damage Makers coming in for their Baptiste. Quetzal getting the pick on Bonsai Tuna. They don't have a Mercy to revive. Halo now taking out the Immortality Field. Murray State, their backs are against the wall again. Can they come out with the win on this round? Five seconds remaining. Overtime is going to be crucial here. Another Halo ult from just the location he had during the first round. That's going to extend their time a little bit. Actually, no, it's still going to be on overtime. That's right. My, My game. Yeah, no, it will stay on overtime until, until Murray State stops them. At the level I play at, this... this doesn't happen this close to the game right. normally. So, I'm, I'm not that good. <laughs> Eric flying in. Murray State, now psychologically, this is a big boost if you're on the defensive team because you know all you have to do is get one good clearance. One team fight in your favor, and that's really all you're going to do. Those shields are going to take a little bit of a beating. They've called out the junk right on the right. Perfect shield placement from the Chief. Now he's focused more forward. They need to stack up the shields a little more effectively. Fire in the hole. Junk right all coming in. Pope coming in from the back line with his coalescence. He's not going to get as many kills as you'd hope. Box time taking out the immortality field, but gets nobody. Kill wise, quote taking out Quetzal and Murray State takes it. Did they C9 the payload? A little bit. Or did Murray State just bully them off? I think we, I think we consider that a Murray State bully. We consider I don't think that Villanova a Murray State would bully. Really, I don't. I wouldn't consider that a C9 in the truest sense. In the truest sense of I just. I mean, I guess technically oops. they were off the point. Right. But. Murray State, four minutes, 31 seconds to get it a little bit further than what Villanova just did. So, again, this has just been too much for me to keep up with considering what we're used to. <laughs> if we win this, does that mean we take the series? Yes. That's That'll right. It's one to, to one, and we'll, we'll go up two to one, and we'll take the series. This is insanity. And Let's you dig it. What we can do. Thank you guys for tuning in tonight. Sure, it's preseason, but you bring the hype every time. And these have been some, probably even the, the Florida State where we, I guess you could say we won pretty handily. Yeah. That was exciting. And this is definitely the best game of Overwatch I've had the privilege of calling so far. This is an insane Overwatch match. You know, you, you say you want to watch the pros play, but you know what's going to happen. And sometimes you get a really nice good pros match. Sometimes you just get a stomp. The Vancouver Titans early in this season before roll lock, you know, just wiping the floor of everybody. But in the collegiate scene, you get this. You don't know what you're going to get. Villanova going for the aggressive surprise hold on the left, but it's not going to pay off. Look at that Bastion Bonsai just ticking away the time as the rest of the racers clean them up. Brilliantly played by Murray State and Villanova caught by their own trap. That was the most clutch ice wall I've ever seen in this game. They knew. They had to have known. They had to say, no, they're going to sit up in there. They're going to... They may have heard them. They may have heard them. You can them. hear them through the wall. You can... That's if true. you're spamming voice line, Bonsai cleaning up is the Bastion again. He's been huge today. Not in a great Chief position right now, but he well. keeps getting saved by his team. And that's just more stagger uh, to help Murray State move this payload we're, a little bit faster. We're going to need at least one of these players to play really badly in the next couple minutes because I can't talk about everybody at once. Everybody has been playing so well, especially this map. Murray State's almost to the gate, and remember, they only need to make it as far as Villanova made it last time, which is not much further than this point. The gates are going to open. There goes and now the Reaper Villanova's again. Staggered. 
Reached. What's happened to Halo? Halo was off. was a vicious Reaper in King's Row, but in Junkertown, he's just not having the luck. Well, we did say his Pharaoh was the weakest, and I feel like this is, at least during this first area, is, is better for a Pharaoh than a Reaper, mm -hmm. personally. I don't know. But what it is, maybe Murray State has just figured out how to play against him as he takes down that immortality field now. Oh, getting Warrior taking down the Sigma Squid as well. Look at that yellow box is in sight. Murray State almost on oh. their way to the victory. Perfect ice wall. Bastion the first one. All. Oh Here comes Murray God. State. They're pushing forward. Are the racers going to take it? And Murray State is going to win. Murray State. Let's go. Holy cow. Let's go. GG go, all racers. around. And I, I kind of think Murray State got under Villanova's skin. I think they weren't hey. expecting the map three. They really weren't expecting the map three. They really, uh, I don't know, they felt a lot less coordinated after this, after the push, where Murray State put up the wall and got past the trap, Villanova was like, what do we do? For me, at that point, round one, app three, mm -hmm. Villanova's confident they get an easy 3-0. I don't think they expected Murray State to come out and get an even quicker 3-0. Right. And 15,000 healing tells you the story because that's actually not a lot for this level of play. Because they were just that quick and just that deadly. Right. I want to point out that damage. Orissa damage at 35,000. Yeah. That's a Arisa. lot. That's a lot of damage for Orissa. Orissa's not a DPS character. Not What's going on? Not a DPSing. On? 